Hi everyone. Imagine you have some text notes with text values. What if I tell you there is one instance method that you can use to add all these text values under one text node. Or you have one text node and text value, you can split the text values and based on that you can do some operations. For that we have some instance methods. If you want to learn that, please bear with me. Let's get some knowledge. From now I am using VS Code to explain a JavaScript for web development. Okay, this is a live server. See, if I write here, automatically it will save and it will reflect in this page. Okay, and these are uh, JavaScript file. Let's create some text files. Okay, text notes and we'll add some values to that and we'll try to use one method to normalize that. Okay. I'm using create element method to create my div and I will create one text node and I will append to a as a child okay uh, for that I'm using document dot create text node with value let's say it's a child one okay and i'll create another text node and i will store in a yeah i mean as a child of you i'll quickly print that to show how it looks it will be in a console i will inspect that see this is the element we created div and there is a child one child two these are text nodes okay now what i'm going to do is i will first print node names and node values and let you know how it will look if there are more text nodes and node values for that i will use one node uh, let node equal to a dot first child first child will be stored in a node and to store the result, I will use a result variable. Like let's say it's a before normalize method. Okay. I'm using normalize method for this. While node, I will just loop like node is equal to node dot or next sibling. I'll use this to move forward. I'll append some node values with node name like uh, dollar. We have node, right? And node name. Oh, node name. With what is that? Node value. Okay. This is my result. I'll quickly print that. Okay, let me retry by refreshing. Inspect this is my code. Yeah, now it's working. Okay, I'll quickly add this. See, before normalize, there is one node name that is text node and the value will be child one and child two that we added, okay? Now, what I will do is, I'll just normalize, I will use normalize method, okay? Let's see what will be the output. After this, I'll quickly copy paste the same thing. Okay, same the first child and uh, now let's say it's our node one, okay, and result one. Then no 
node one okay now I will print the result right result one let's see what we, what is the output is my core see before normalize it's a text child one and child two then after normalize after normalize there is only one text node and all the values like child one and child two will be stored under one text node this is normalize instance method okay now let's see we have one text node and and text value how we can split that there is one instance method called split text to do so we have one header with id let's say it's a well and text will be welcome and let equal to document dot get element by id or id is well right and let's say we have a variable b where to get a value of a we are using a dot first child okay and to split that we use split text some parameter I'll quickly print that and I'll explain Control dot B. Okay. See, there is a split text instance method. It will take a parameter called as offset value. What is meant by offset means? See, there is a, a welcome. Okay. It's a seven letters, right? If I use offset as two, it will start splitting from two to ending. It's a zero, W is a zero, E is a one, L is a two. If I use split text of two, it will come from L. See, I use a split text of two. It's split it from L to E. It's a use of welcome, I mean, uh, split text instance method. Where we can use this means, we can implement, we can introduce some text between those things of uh, let's see an example for that let's say we have one one u element we create that uh, create element which is of type u okay I mean underlined one u dot inner html will be underlined okay it's an underlined one we are introducing between between w e and l come okay okay uh, for that i'll split just three and uh, i'll print that log of b so this is my output like come okay 